back to the Late Show. Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen my next guest in Full House, Friday Night Lights, and True Blood. She now stars in the series Underground. Please welcome Journey Smollett Bell. <laughs> Well, uh, lovely to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. And meeting you in person, I am not at all surprised to hear that you were John Baptiste's first crush, I understand. Oh, snap. Is that true? Uh, me? Yeah. That you, you had a crush on her from afar when you were younger? Wow, you got the inside information, didn't you? <laughs> We've got a research team here. So, anyway, uh, this young man, Hello. you were his first crush right over there. Oh, my goodness. Hey! <laughs> it's not a bad, not a bad gig, hey, John? Hey, man, <laughs> not bad. Well, now, we had your brother on here. We Jesse. Had, we had Jesse on here yeah. uh, from Empire. Yeah. Um, who's the better uh, Smollett? I think Jesse would tell you me. Oh, you think so? <laughs> Absolutely. Who is, who is the old? How many of the Smollett's are there? There's six of us. Okay. JoJo Jazz, Jesse, Journey, Jake, Jockey. I'm sorry, please. I just got to ask you one more time. Jojo Jazz, Jesse, Journey, Jake, Jockey. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Where, do you fall? Where do you fall in the family? I'm the fourth. I'm the youngest girl. Me and my sister were the only girls, and we held on to each other for dear life with four brothers. Well, I'm one of eight boys and three girls, yeah, so. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. But whatever your family is seems normal, right? Absolutely. It's your normal. Exactly. And you've been performing since you were a baby, right? Yeah, I've been in front of the camera since I was 10 months old. 10? What are you, how, what are you acting at 10 months? Um, I was actually modeling, okay? Oh, that's glamorous. I was modeling diapers. <laughs> and how does one model a diaper? Is it sort of just placed on you? Well, you have to sit pretty. As right. I'm trying to do right now in this dress. <laughs> um, do you get a lifetime supply or something? You know, I don't know, but I wish that would have been worked into my deal, because now I'm a mom. This would have been, like, very helpful for me now. Oh, oh congratulations. Uh, how old is your, how old's your child? He's four months old. Four months old. Yeah. Wow. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Above everything else, congratulations on not seeming exhausted. You know, I'm an actress. We know how to lie. Yeah. Because we just um, had Felicity Huffman out here, and she says it's horrible. Dude, I mean, literally, we've been promoting season two of Underground, and, like, my son just decides, like, now he's just going to stay up throughout the night oh. on the promo tour. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they so. are small but relentless opponents. Oh, my gosh. Tell yeah. me about it. But he's amazing. What's his name? Hunter Zion Bell. No J? No, uh, uh, done with it. I was like, absolutely not. You're breaking the chain? This, this, listen, the cycle has to stop, people. <laughs> well, um, now, uh, on Underground, you play a character named Rosalie. Yes. Who is... The Underground refers to the Underground Railroad in, in this show. Um, who is Rosalie? Rosalie, in season one, um, was a young house servant who worked in the house, and, you know, her father was the planter, was the plantation owner, didn't acknowledge, obviously, that he was. Mm -hmm. And in season one, we see Rosalie escapes the plantation after having never been outside in her life. Where is the plantation? Life. Macon, Georgia. Macon, Georgia, okay. She runs 600 miles to freedom with the Macon Seven, her comrades. She makes it to the north. At the end of season one, meets up with Harriet Tubman with the intention of going back. Mm -hmm. And in season two, which we which premiered um, this past Wednesday, um, we see me five or six. Yeah, you clap. We had a good premiere. We have a clip here. What's that? What's happened in this clip? Um, so in this clip, five months have passed. I've been trained up by Harriet Tubman to learn how to transfer cargo, which are human beings, to freedom. Mm -hmm. And in this clip, I'm trying to get this guy who's injured to get up off of his feet. All right, Jim. We almost there. Okay. You can't. You can't. Come on. 
listen to me. You got two choices. You got life, you got death. You got to trust your instincts right now. That animal, that animal inside of you, that fear he bring, it be powerful. It'll go make your eyes blink wider, make your heart beat faster. You got to use it right now, because it's the only thing that's gonna save your life. <laughs> That looks like a scene from Pulp Fiction. What was it? What are you doing to him there? I'm giving him a shot of adrenaline. Uh, what? Yeah. They had adrenaline back then? Yeah, you know, I mean, my character uh, in the daytime, I work at a hospital um, under an alias, and so I'm constantly like stealing medicine. Wow. Um, and so, you know, I. I'm giving him this because he's been injured, and we gotta, we gotta, gotta keep the going. mission going. How do you research? Like, how do you prepare to play a role in a story so intense? You know, it requires a lot of research in order for you to saturate yourself into this world. So I was reading a lot of books, you know, a lot of um, slave narratives like the Bullwhip Days, reading, you know, first-person accounts of what it was like to be an enslaved man or woman really brought a level of truth to me. Um, and there's this one story that really, blew me away. It was a story of um, Ellen and William Craft. Uh, she was a, a, an enslaved woman, fair-skinned, married to William Craft, who was darker-skinned. They escaped on a train by her pretending like she was a white man. What? Yes. Like she put her hair up in a hat? She and... cut her hair off. She disguised her, She dressed as a man and disguised herself as a white man, and her husband was disguised as her manservant. And they got on a and train they got and got on got the up train to the train and rode to freedom. Wow. Now, I mean, the, these, these men and women were genius. You know, they really were genius. And they, they used um, their instincts, they used wits. They were so brilliant. And even though they had these chains, you know, binding them, they really used the, um, their human will to get their freedom. Now, you screened this uh, the first season at the White House, I understand. Last season. Last season. Last, at the season. White House. Last season at the White House. <laughs> All right, any chance you're going to screen this season at the White House? You know, we haven't gotten an invitation. Well, good it's luck. Like, good luck. I don't think it's going to happen. You never know. You never know. <laughs> uh, Underground airs Wednesday nights on WGN America. Journey Smollett Bell, everybody. We'll be right back.